Cooper, right TJ Sims, and going to Will Marcus. Just taking me under the wing and helping me on the left wing tight over. Get ready for the games and whatnot. Coach Williams will prepare my own. I think they were the biggest support for me right here. And this situation right now. Probably about your role right now. And how you get the yards and how you get the yards. Talk about your role right now. And what what it is that you're being emphasized to do? My role is special to me. I get on defense. And when I get in, I get to take advantage of the opportunities and deep shot and break down the whole special team. I get a lot of reps on the defense. That's why I take advantage of the opportunities and deep do you appear to be able to make plays on the field? I don't mean that in a positive or a negative sense. It just you just seem to be able to make plays. Sometimes uh, Indiana hasn't had that. Um, yeah, I just feel like second down, twenty two seconds left as well. I gotta give all I can. I'm going to see an opportunity where people just have around some plays on the backside or well as a start of the season. Time to really make and continue. Where did you learn your football skills at? And, and who do you give credit for? Who do you follow? Who are your coaches? Uh, talk a little bit about that. Uh, um, I take my father time and I always train with me. Try to get me better. My football coaches and high school coach, Golden, coach Cutter, they really helped me. Just everything still is hard. So it's just like better. I feel like we have some confidence. Talk a little bit about that last play of the ball game. How important was that? Um, it was very important. And for me, since I had a late hit on the quarterback, the play you know, um, I said I'm gonna see him do it for my team. I gotta make sure. Uh, you know, I just seen him throw it early to uh, running back Murphy, who the new dynamic player, try to get him some room, make a play instead of throwing it down there. So I just see him with all that type of stuff. And he's another down. You're used to winning from high school. Yeah, we have. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's a couple big, great uh, years yeah. back in the uh, so uh, like uh, past couple years. He, he know what he always, to do. Yeah, I trust him out there. Playoff caliber team. Great players home, but, uh, yeah. uh, what was that locker right? Rock of locker room like after the ball game Saturday? Just excited. Uh, I, noticed they have a big I, up I was just glad to see all our team playing on the field. It was just like really capable to do something to the field for the you know, uh, it's a good, it's a good, good challenge. Um, I'm not sure if, if you saw the year named Covington freshman, what, uh, what, but I I guess, what does that mean to you to, to be recognized here so early? Um, to tell you the truth, just it's a blessing. But then again, I got to really stay level headed and um, just keep working hard every yeah, day. You know, um, and, um, just starts just get better every week. Has the transition from the high school game to the college, college game been fairly, and fairly and easy for you? Or I guess what have been some of the challenges on the field? Uh, um, it hasn't been easy. I mean, putting in work every day with my coaches and my teammates and just trying to get better, like I said. Did you expect to contribute so much this early? I didn't know what to expect coming in, but just throughout practice, I see my role coming into effect. Yeah, every week, so yeah. Once I see my role, I just had to take advantage of it. Who is Indiana's primary recruiter for you, and how, how are you influenced to go to Indiana instead of you know some other maybe traditional football power? Um, I talked to Coach Fry a whole bunch, and then Coach Ends took over the linebacker coach. I talked to Coach Wilson on the weekly, every other week, and um, they kept in touch pretty much a whole lot, and that's what like. You know, uh, just the uh, commitment uh, our coaches have made to me, and they didn't really rush me into like committing me. Anything, so I, just, uh, I felt like this was supposed to be. There's been such an emphasis this year on defense, and more sound tackling, more sure tackling. Uh, with your wrestling background and everything like that, do you think you're kind of more well suited for that? You know. Yeah, I like actually the drills we do in practice is like kind of resemble what we do in wrestling practice. It's just like feel natural and what I saw. Yeah, it really not a big difference for me. What they look at and you think you had maybe a little bit of an advantage over some of the other incoming freshmen just with wrestling and I won't say advantage, but the preparation. Yeah, it's just wrestling backgrounds, like one on one sports. So it's kind of like good leverage and just helping in different categories of football. It's great. You guys said five and six a lot. Exactly. Building up throughout the weekend, we're going to be more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to each other and say, you know, with, uh, get, you know as far going as more than four at the quarterback. Yeah, and um, before the, that week even started, our coach said we would like let us go a little bit, you know, like yeah, that'd be up a little push up, holding the back, as in like getting after the quarterback a lot. So I think that's what our team was going into the game was like bringing a little pressure. You get a sense of some of those 